Hello my people, my name is Ivan and today I'm going to show you my Touch 3G from T-Mobile. I had this phone for quite some time now and I love it. First things first, this video is in high definition, so press the button. Don't watch it in standard definition because I spent all this time trying to upload a high definition file and then you're gonna hurt my feelings by watching it in standard definition, which don't do it. So yeah, it's primarily to, to show this phone to my friend who got a new Palm Pre phone and I just wanted to show it to him. You got a few buttons at the bottom of the screen. You got call, you got home, menu, trackball, back, search and end call. To activate the screen you can press any of these buttons, but to unlock the phone you can do, you have to press menu. Although you can also change the settings to have something like a pattern unlock. unlock. So when you press any button, you can see the clock, you can see any song that you have playing, or you can even see the alarm clock, or if your battery is low, display that also. So you press menu again to go to your home screen. You can also do landscape view. I like regular more, but you have the wallpaper itself scrolls and you have five different home screens. You can cycle through them like this. You can, let me delete this actually. You can uh, add any application to the home screen by dragging this menu bar up. You can scroll through them. You can long haul them and you can place them wherever you like to place them on any home screen you have. There are tons of different applications you can get on the market for free even and you can add lots of different widgets like weather, MySpace, Facebook, clock, feeds. Just to show you, you can long hold the home screen, you can press for example widgets and it will bring up a list of all available widgets on the phone that you have installed and you can add them. I'll going, I'm going to add a feed. Simple as that. You can see feeds. You can press on that feed to read more and it will take you to, all, to that feed. You can press the back button. Oops. Yeah, it only takes you to that feed. However, you can also it's trying to update the feed right now, so that's why it's kind of being slow. You can see all the feeds that you have and see how old they are, for example. You can also add different, you can add other widgets, I guess. Let's say Facebook, for example, like I had before. And it will show status, you can scroll through them, you can say what's on your mind I guess bring up keyboard you can download an applications application which allows you to download different skins for your keyboard you can make it look like an iPhone and whatnot it's kind of neat for some people I guess I like the default you can type in landscape the keys they light up I like that yeah, and like I said, you can view all the stuff in landscape mode also, all of your home screens, and see all the applications you got. Now, the big thing about this phone is that, like I said, you can multitask. For example, I'll go to my music player right now, and what I'm going to do is I'll just play something. It doesn't really matter what I'm going to play play some uh, snow patrol you can adjust the volume turn it down some you can see it in landscape also once again and I'm going to press home I'll go back to the home screen and I can still do whatever I like I can access browsers MySpace Facebook app and on top you have notifications it shows me that I have new text message new email this is shows me my usage for my 3G network and this shows me that I have a song playing. I'm also going to send myself a Google Talk message 
right now which will bring it up also and it'll tell me what it says so I'll bring up this pane and I can see that right now I have lifeboat song playing I can click on this which will take me to the music player which I won't do right now and I see that I have a new uh, Google Talk message I can press on that which will take me to Google Talk and I can reply to it if I wish to then I can go to my text messaging and see what my text message says which it shows me but I can reply to it it consolidates everything in a single thread even the images thus you can see the images that people send you you can save them you can click on them you can make them bigger you can transform to send a message you just tap on the box and you type you can do landscape once again now I can check my email you can press the email button it'll take me to my email it'll tell me that I have an email I can see I'm awesome yeah I can click on it and I can read the email if I wish to okay now like I said I have a song playing I can click on that song and it'll take me back to my music player and I can do whatever I want to do. I have no time left, so I have to end this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.